Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm sharing which brand makes the best vintage light wash jean for petites. Now even if you are not petite and you're watching this video, all these jeans that I'm going to share today come in regular and tall as well. But for sizing reference, I'm petite. I'm five foot zero. Also if you're curious about my body measurements, I'll have that written in the description box down below for you guys. And all of the jeans that I will share today, I'm going to link them in the description box down below uh, in case you happen to be interested in any of them. So with that being said, subscribe if you're new and let's go ahead and dive right in okay so here are the stack of jeans here I have six different kinds here so I guess I'll just go in order from top to bottom here uh, so the first one I'm gonna talk about are the Abercrombie the skinny high-rise jeans so this is what they look like this is the color of them so these have some distressing in them the rest of the jeans do not have any distressing so this is the one that you're gonna see that has the most distressing which isn't that much so you have some right here here and by the pockets and then on the hem line it's kind of like finished but then raw hemline in the back the back pockets here they are large which i love um you guys know i love large back pockets personally i just feel like it's really flattering at least for my body type i just really like large versus smaller so they're just like really clean and simple i feel like this light wash color is really stunning so it has um a little bit of fading like right here on the thigh and slight whiskering very light uh so it's not exactly all one solid light wash color um so it has a little bit of fading right here for size i got these in a 24 short which is my true size so i would say these by abercrombie are true to size they feel a little bit more stiff they honestly don't really have much stretch into them i think they have one percent elastane and 99 percent of it is cotton but they are comfortable and i believe these also come in extra short as well and i feel like lengthwise they fit really really good you know a lot of times it's really you'll see from the other jeans a lot of times it's really hard to find like a length of a denim jean for a petite that hits right at our ankle or even has like a little bit of a crop look which i personally like a little bit of a crop but these are like a full length jean on me and i believe they come in extra short so if you're shorter than me below five foot zero um i would recommend going for the extra short option but if you're five foot zero to like five two five three maybe you can go with the short version also abercrombie comes in curvy options as well so if you're a curvy petite they have options so I'm gonna link these regular ones for you guys and then uh, I will also link the curvy option of these as well um, in case you need a little bit more room in your hip area but overall I really am impressed with the fit especially for being a petite um, a lot of times brands can really miss on the length of it but Abercrombie I feel like they do really well in it they have options for short and extra short just in case you're a little bit shorter okay the next one is by madewell honestly you guys i was really hoping not to like these <laughs> uh, and i'll explain why it's because they are so expensive these are the most expensive out of all the jeans after taxes i paid 140 dollars for these like it's like a nail biter like it's so hard for me to spend that much money i always try to spend no more than a hundred dollars on a pair of jeans my goal is like under a hundred but you know for this video i wanted to review different styles so anyways i really didn't want to like these but i love them you guys they are so worth it they fit and flatter you know at least my body type so well so first the color is stunning i love this light wash color it's beautiful it has a little bit of um fading like right on the thigh here and i believe it has yeah it's a little bit of light whiskering in the front as well this has no distressing and also the hemline of it is finished these are more of a straight leg jean so they're fitted through the hip and thigh and then past the knee they taper out just a bit i believe they have a 12 to 13 inch leg opening past the knee so it has a little bit of a straight leg look to it and the back pockets also if you look they're large which you guys know i love it has no stitching so super clean and simple like with all these jeans i test them out wearing them for a full day just see how they feel so with these they're gonna feel tight at first when you purchase them but then they're gonna start to stretch out just a little bit it has some stretch to it so it's actually really really comfortable the thing i really appreciate about madewell jeans this is my third pair that i own is that they make them very high quality and really nice like, suck you in type of rigid denim but they are comfortable so the way they make them they're very comfortable and very flattering at the same time next up is everlane so 
I got their 90s cheeky jean. Um, I got it in the size 23 crop. So I noticed with Everlane, they run a little bit big. So if you're in between sizes, I feel like going down a size, you'll be okay doing that. Especially as you wear the jean, um, it will stretch out just a little bit also, just like with the Madewell ones I just shared. I could either be a 23 or 24. And the only thing I kind of was bummed out about the Everlane jeans is that the length of them, even though they're crop, for me being five foot zero there's too much bunchiness at the ankle so they are two inches too long for me which is it's too long for me I'm not gonna wear jeans that give me that much bunchiness at the bottom and uh, these were pretty pricey too they retail for $98 I believe they went up in price they used to be 78 and now they went up to $98 aside from the length not being good for me the fit is amazing everywhere else like I love how they fit in the waist in the hips and the thighs I do really like how much it tapers out past the knee as well I think these are a little bit wider past the knee and this light wash color is stunning also like it's it's so so beautiful even though the length isn't good for me personally if you are 5'1 5'2 5'3 these are going to be honestly I feel like perfect you won't need to do any adjusting to it they may not have that crop look they're probably most likely going to be a full length jean on you unless you're like 5'2 or 5'3. Even if you're 5'1 just like an inch taller than me these are gonna fit so much better they'll be like a full length jean. If you're below 5'0 I feel like just maybe um steer clear from these just because of how pricey they are unless you're okay with um doing some adjusting to it. For me personally I am gonna keep these because I really like the fit like around the waist the hips the thighs um I really like how they taper out past the knee I think they look very flattering uh, but I will cut these though so uh if you're curious about how I cut my jeans I actually shared a tutorial in one of my recent videos on petite style tips I will link that video up here and I'll link it in the description box with a timestamp in there so that way you guys can see where I start the tutorial on how I cut my denim jeans I get questions all the time how I cut them okay next up are the Levi's 501 skinnies uh, you guys know how obsessed I am with these jeans I already reviewed them multiple times here on my channel first this vintage color is stunning this is literally exactly Exactly the color I was looking for just very um I don't know how to make it like 90s look to it first of all Levi's knows how to make their back pockets like the bomb like they make your booty look so good like lifted and just so amazing when you first put them on they're gonna feel tight uh, they're a skinny jean um, but then as you wear them they do stretch out a bit so they're 99% cotton and 1% elastane so they are gonna stretch a bit and they kind of look more like a mom jean on me now so I went with my true size I went with size 24 so I love how they look after they're worn in for a bit uh, that's just my preference I personally like it and these jeans also come in a 28 inch inseam which is considered petite but if you're extra short like me they do need to be adjusted so I did cut these at the bottom again the tutorial is going to be linked down below cut them about like two inches so they are slightly cropped on me so I can wear ankle booties sneakers show a little bit of my ankle which personally that's just what I like okay another one is a Levi's jean so these are actually the Levi's wedgie straight which you've guys seen so many times on my channel I got these in a size 23 I've had these for a very long time. So now I don't think this exact wash is in stock anymore. I've had these for so long. I think this is in the wash uh, Tango Hustle. We'll link a very similar one um, down below. That's the Levi's YG Straight, same fit. It's just the wash is just a slightly different. It looks just a tiny bit different of a like a vintage light wash. These are pretty stiff and rigid. So they are 99% cotton, 1% elastane. The thing I love about the wedgie straight is they have an option for a 26 inch inseam, which I'm like, that's amazing because that means I don't have to do anything to it. I don't have to cut it. They come and they uh, at least for me they fit lengthwise perfectly so they do come with a raw hemline so if you're five foot zero and below I feel like these are gonna fit really well if you're five one two or three then they're gonna be a little bit more cropped on you which you can probably go with the 28 inch inseam um but I feel like 26 is like so good for so many different petites so they're fitted in the waist hips and thighs and then they taper out past the knee I believe 14 inches is the like opening and last but not least 
least are the top shop straight jeans now actually i feel like these are the most baggy out of all of the jeans i just shared and i think it's like that because i went up two sizes so i'm normally a 24 sometimes 23 uh, but i got these in a 26 because top shop runs pretty small and i really like the fit of these so these are the most straight out of all of them lengthwise they fit very very well they come with a raw hemline and these jeans also come in regular and tall as well but for the petite these look like they're a 26 inch inseam so they are a little bit cropped for me these are like the most simple and most clean jeans out of all of the ones i shared these have no stitching in the back they don't have like any patch like logos anywhere they're a zipper closure with one button and they have like no whiskering also so it's like one solid color pretty much throughout the entire jean and um i love how the back pockets are large i think the way they're placed very flattering like all of these jeans like the one thing i really look at when i'm shopping for denim jeans is back pocket placement and how large the back pockets are i feel like larger back pockets are more flattering versus like smaller ones nothing wrong with smaller ones at all i guess it's just personal preference but i feel like larger ones i feel like they just look a little bit better these are definitely like stiff and rigid tiny bit of stretch into them so with these top shop ones i definitely recommend going up a size for sure from your regular because they do run small you can even consider going up two sizes if you want it to be a little bit more comfortable and not so tight so i went with two full sizes and i feel like they fit great for me still all right so that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed seeing um, my review on the six different vintage light wash denim jeans again everything is going to be linked down below if you happen to be interested in any of them also uh, my size measurements is all going to be written down there as well how i cut my jeans i will link that video down below with a timestamp as well plan to make more videos like this the next one i want to do is um which brand makes the best vintage medium wash denim jean which i'm so excited about that one i'm about to start purchasing and testing out jeans for that video pretty soon here so i'm really excited for that one so like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and i will see you in my next video bye